And what a start for Patrick Mullings. The lad from Harrow. Just hoping now that the Bulgarian will lead to him a bit so he can counter punch Mullings. And a man walking onto you that's, that's more effect than a punch. Oh, he really is doubling those up well, isn't he? He doesn't need to be a southpaw. He stands square and throws a lot of leather. Just feel those breathtaking stuff there. You know the way he's letting oh, these punches rip. They're just raining in Jim, aren't they? Class already crashed, having all sorts of trouble here. Can't trade with him, can't get out of trouble. So I don't quite know what he's going to do to stay in there with Mullins. Oh, we weathered the storm anyway, Red. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Krastev is going to call on that sort of long amateur experience when he did fight the hard men, I must say, but uh, you're wondering now, a few defeats, he lost to the Frenchman Benachot last November, so he's been in some rough ones and his chin isn't world class. That's a nice little right hand, he slipped onto Mullins there. Yeah, he's come back well from that attack. But the power, the difference in power when Mullins lets them go. Yeah, he's sickened by that. Well, a good look at him here now, Paul Thomas, before he'll say box up. Look at that, you see straight in the eyes he's looking. Get your hands up, okay, if you can do that, box on, give you every chance. But what a difference in punching power and punch delivery, Reg. Really, yeah, one class stuff it? from Mullins. Now this is all over by the shout, and there it is. Now he's carrying on there with the, with the count. I thought it might have stopped that, but he's going to go through the formality, I would think, of the count. No, he's going to let him box off. Well, with his body shots, they knocked him down, Reg. I yeah, think if it had been head shots, maybe the yeah, referee Thomas would have bailed him out, but it was body shots, he's given him a chance to, to come back from them. But I really don't think he has anything to offer here. Really, is this for a super bantamweight as close as Jim Watt and I are to these uh, punches? I tell you, they are sinking in right above us here. Fast is ma managing to take some of the steam out of them, but he's got nothing to offer, Reg. No, he's, he's got to go in there. now. There it is. He's got to go in. That's almost like a standing part of Jim, really, isn't it? Well, I think the ropes were keeping him up, Reg. I'm surprised the uh, referee Tom was moving the one. Thankfully, the bell sounded. Because it looks as though Christy would quite like to be out of there. Well, there's nothing signaling from the corner men that, uh, that they want to stop it. There's the knockdown now. Ooh, those punches underneath take my breath away, let alone Christy. Yeah, that knocks all the will out of a fighter wedge. Punches like yeah. that. When you don't have the power to compete with the other guy, it's only the second round, for heaven's sake. So what are you going to do for the rest of the, the 12 rounds? I think uh, Crash Dev would like to be out of there. He's corner will get him ready to come back up again. But I can't see this lasting much longer. Sickening punches, both to head and body. I think he'd rather be back uh, in, his, in his cafe in Sofia now at the moment, Krastev. I think the main thing is that it's not head punches. Yeah, I think he wants out of there. What, what's going on now? What's the gum shield? He's forgotten the gum shield. Well, I he has enough in their mind. The seconds have forgotten it, Jim. That, that always surprises me when that happens. But the, good job the referee spotted it. They're not supposed to box at all without the, the gum shield. And if it comes out, they have to stop the, the bout on the, the appropriate time and then replace it. Well, you would expect the Mullings just to, to keep the same tempo. Just find his range again and start whipping the shots in. As I say, if it hadn't been body shots that was causing the knockdowns, probably referee Thomas would have pulled him out of there already. The head shots, obviously, that we worry about. Brilliant stuff by Mullings. I know what's going through his mind as well. He wants to do better than Spencer Oliver did against this fellow who took him four rounds. European Championship.
he can fight a lot and box a bit too, can't he, Murray? It's the power in either hand too, he just, the way he whips the shots. He uses the hips and the shoulders to get that extra leverage. He's showing a, a little bit of patience now, not in any hurry. I think he's quite confident he has the tools to do it, get this job done. Yeah, he's stamp not the in old, any hurry. Stamp the authority on him right away, Jim, you know, show, tell him who's in charge. There it comes again now, this battery of punches that he's flung in. As soon as he Take launches a meaningful attack at the edge, Crash Bear's got nothing to come back with. Just about holding and hitting at the same time there from Mullings. He's looking at a class above Crash Dave, isn't he? Absolutely. He's 122 of 27, Crash Dave. I, as I say, it's only recently he's been getting turned over a bit. He won his last fight on March the 6th with a knockout, but uh, against an opponent, I think, had never won a fight. I can't think that punch missed, believe it or not. Yeah, he, he doesn't want this. this he doesn't want to be no. that punch missed. And I don't blame him. Nah, he's, he's, no, it's he's, over. He's quite right. He's, he's, he's saying, I think I've had enough, Governor. And the guy's too good for me. So Patrick Mullins does get a version of a world championship, whether he take, takes it too seriously. He will, but whether the world will, we'll soon find out. But then they all have to start uh, with these ruling bodies or invented organisations, the alphabet boys. And I tell you, it was... It was an impressive win. It's the fighters who make the fight, not the titles anyway. And there's the final stats. Hey, look at that, 151 against 58. He well, really, Mullins, I, I repeat myself, sorry, Jim, that he, he really seconded him all the time with punches. There weren't the odd ones coming in, Yeah, it crashed out. And the little punches he was coming back with, little pit apart punches, he was just out of his depth. He, you know, when they crashed out through any punches, there was nothing whatsoever in the shorts. Yeah. He looked, he looked for the avenue there and he went straight up, didn't he, with that uppercut? That was a good left hook. Actually, I, I take it back. I, I saw the right hand missing, but the left hook was a good shot, Reg, so he had every reason to be on the floor. Yes. I saw him going down. From, looked, from our angle, it looked as though the, the right hand was whipping across. The right hand missed the bang. Shot. That one didn't that miss. That's the one. Right. Oh, the dear, damage yeah. had already been done. Oh, dear. It's all right for us to say we could see it coming in super slow motion. That was the left hook that did the damage. Yep, and they just totally sickened them. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 37 seconds of the third round. Referee Paul Thomas has stopped the contest with Krastep in no position to continue. And the new IBO Super Phantomweight Champion of the World, Patrick. Mullen! And presenting the championship belt, our supervisor this evening, Mr. Edward Lee. Sports fans, please show your appreciation for a very game challenger indeed from Bulgaria, Martin Karate. Patrick Mullings, the new IBO Super Bantamweight champion. Do you feel on top of the world? Yeah, I do actually, yeah. It's a um, step in the right direction. I've worked, I've worked long and hard, hard for it um, with the help of Dean Powell and uh, Frank Maloney. We've worked together as a team and uh, they said as long as I keep my part of the bargain, which is to be fit and to be strong and to be ready for uh, when they call me up, I've kept my bargain and they've kept their bargain. You had Martin Kratzer down five times. Were you surprised it went that long? Um, well, I was a bit because um, uh, the way Oliver caught him, you know, I, I did, to be honest, think, you know, if I catch him with one or two of my sort of quick hard punches you know he'll be down but he, he, he was there to stay I mean he, he gave a good account of himself I hit him with some good shots and uh, you know he, he, he got hurt and he, you know he stood in there gritted his teeth and carried on fighting. Spencer Oliver of course won the European title from him in the fourth round you did it in three. Yeah I mean um, on, on, on that sort of uh, defence I mean I suppose Jess Arden and Spencer Oliver are probably going to say you know that um, you know they knocked the stuff, stuffing out of him but he was you know champion and he obviously thought he didn't have to work too hard to to um, prepare against Spencer but you know, he's fighting off a defeat, 
and um, you know it's a bigger title in, in, in probably his eyes and my eyes you know it's a world title so um, obviously I mean I think he came more to fight me than he did to get to um, you know fight uh, Spencer Oliver.